Hello everybody, Steve here, also known as Guitar Man on YouTube. Uh, I just wanted to make a short video to demonstrate the usefulness of making a homemade shortwave reception antenna out of speaker wire. So what I have here is 18 gauge speaker wire. I uh, bought it from our local hardware store here uh, for $10. It's 50 feet long and I have it running my backyard i have it wrapped around the, that far tree you can see in the background loops around this one slightly and then comes up to meet me here at the patio it's about six feet six and a half feet off the ground and i have it just hooked up to my railing here just so it doesn't flop around and pull my radios down um, on the end here it's just a little uh, electrical clip that I also bought from the hardware store. I used both the positive and the negative part of the speaker wire. I'm using them as one. Um, I have them. I have the insulation stripped and I have it wrapped around that screw there to the clip. And on the other end, I just want to let everybody know if you're going to do this, uh, keep your antenna insulated, uh, especially on the other end. The other end... Uh, it's cut down, it's not bare, but it could still ground on something. I have it wrapped around those trees, so it's not really going to do anything. But if you have it hooked up to a building, like something metal, you want to insulate your antenna because if you ground the antenna to the whatever structure it is, you can actually detune the antenna and your reception will not be that great. So, I just want to show you also new little toy I have here. It's the Tiny SA Radio Spectrum Analyzer. I got it off of Amazon. I paid $100 Canadian for it. Uh, I've heard of people buying these for less than $100. I heard $50, but I'm not too sure about that. So I have it set up right now to analyze the shortwave spectrum. I have it set from 17, 10 kilohertz all the way up to 29,999 kilohertz. I have, just bear with me, I'm going to extend the telescopic antenna that comes with it. I have it hooked up to the low side as you can see and you can see what kind of reception I'm getting. Uh, it's nighttime, it's rainy, there's clouds. It's, uh, it's actually New Year's Eve today going into 2023. Um, as you can see there, I got the waterfall option set on the screen as well. You can see what kind of shortwave signals I'm getting just by using the telescoping on antenna. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of radio you would be using for this. Presumably just a little handheld similar to my Radiwow R108, which also has the little telescopic antenna on it. So right now I'm going to hook up my $10 speaker wire. Just going to clip it to the antenna somewhere. Have it clipped like so. And boom. You can see what a difference it makes. Dramatic difference in your reception. Uh, if you hook this up to a radio, you will also notice a dramatic improvement in your reception. I certainly did with my little Radiwell tonight. Uh, the frequencies are coming in so strong that they're actually overlapping each other. And it is just after dark. It's not quite 6 p.m. local time. Uh, the, it gets dark this time of year around 5 o'clock. Uh, any DXer or lady, radio, sorry, radio listener will know uh, the signals come in pretty good this time of day at this hour. So there, I just wanted to show you that that $10 little investment, how it can make your listening much more enjoyable. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful and insightful. All right, take care.